Hi, my Pisces. So this will be your mid-March reading. I hope you guys enjoy. Shout out to all my Pisces showing me so much love. It does not come unnoticed. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you guys are interested in any personal readings with me, Lizzie Tarot 1010 at gmail.com. Um, my readings are strictly through the phone, but if you guys um, want to do my $5 cash app questions, that is strictly through via email only. Um, so let's get into the reading. So I did get stuck on them, shit on them. So I feel like you're stuck in on these hoes, stuck in on these dusties. I feel like you're really in your bad bitch energy or um for my men you're very in your masculine energy i feel like you're seeing a lot of things um you see everything your intuition is literally on the money is what i'm getting your intuition is on the money pisces no one can tell you otherwise even if you feel like you're crazy you're not or if they think you're crazy you're not so let's see what's up for my pisces in love let's see so I feel like there could be someone very obsessed with you right now, very ego-driven, narcissist energy. There could be some cheating involved. Um, I feel like this person is very much, if no one can have you, sorry, if I can't have you, no one can, right? Um, I'm getting Capricorn energy, a lot of Earth sign energy, so Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um... I feel like this person was very materialistic, like to good, look good, smell good, maybe would give you a lot of stuff. Maybe when you guys would fight, they'd be like, here, baby, here's this or the third. Here, how much money do you want so you can get over it type of energy? You're just like, um, yeah, no, like I ain't down for it. Let's see what else for my Pisces and money and love. I feel like you're over this person for sure. I feel like you're ready for new. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of high speed, um, high speed, how do I say it? I want to say traveling as well, but also communication, like back and forth, texting, a lot of attraction, a lot of um, sexual energy is what I'm getting, but a lot of luring in like your energy is just going to be attracting and luring in people could be a sag could be an aries um but i feel like there's a lot of traveling traveling going on and a lot of romance maybe this is gonna be a long distance relationship i don't know if you guys have ever done a long distance relationship or you guys are in a long distance relationship with this person and you're just ready to cut the cord. But maybe this person's going to be coming towards you, showing up at work, showing up at your house, showing up at your sister's, your brother's, your mom's house, whatever the, the case is. But I feel like maybe the excitement that you used to have with this person, it just isn't the same anymore. You could be feeling frustrated, annoyed. Um, you're just like not having it. Like the cupcake phase is over. Let's see what else. Let's see what else for my Pisces. For my Pisces, let's see what else. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to move past it, but I feel like I'm hearing once a cheater, always a cheater, and you won't be able to get over it. Like, oh, you already cheated on me? Okay, well, I can't be with you anymore. I want someone honest, pure, truthful, loyal, down for me, there for me, at my lowest type of energy. So I feel like you're gonna be meeting your soulmate once you leave this person. Keep in mind, in retrograde, a lot of breakups happen, a lot of people get back together with their exes, whatever the case is, a lot of that happens, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, a lot of, um, like, your temper is heightened, the technology is acting funny, I feel like this pre-retrograde shadow period is really just beating my butt, <laughs> maybe you guys are feeling like that too, so I feel like if you guys will be meeting your soulmate you could be meeting this person even during retrograde because i feel like i'm getting a lot of temptation maybe you're with this person right now but after that you'll be like this will make you want to leave so i would just wait after retrograde for sure yeah this person's gonna have their shit together this new person's gonna have their shit together nothing like the old person for sure yeah i feel like the old person would bring you a lot of problems a lot of stress a lot of indecisiveness Let's see what else. Yeah. I feel like you're manifesting a lot right now. 111 on the clock. 11-11. Um, 
one 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 trust your intuition your intuition's not talk um not lying right but i feel like you need to be patient you really need to be patient i feel like you could be working maybe you're a witch maybe you're a tarot reader i feel like your manifestations are going to be coming all your spell work is going to be coming as well a lot of manifestations are going to be coming as well yeah look at this you're gonna have new beginnings could be with a fire sign so leo aries and sag um starting something new starting something fresh going back to that butterfly energy cupcake energy um going out getting ready like let me call you let me see what you're doing shy energy right I'm getting heavy Leo though. So whoever this is, is going to bring so much power out of you. So much strength. Like it's going to bring the you out of you is what I'm hearing. Um, this person's going to be very, have a good head on their shoulders. going to be very knowledgeable, hardworking. All the aspects that you really want, this person's going to have them. This person is literally going to have them. And this person's going to be in charge. This person's not going to be indecisive. This person's not going to be playing any games. You could almost feel like, is this too good to be true? Is this fake? Is this just retrograde energy that I'm, I feel like this could be the one? But no, I feel like this will be the one for sure. And then after retrograde, you will for sure know um, if you guys are still together. This person and you, lovers for sure. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about you and this new person. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, love yourself, love yourself first. So I feel like you really need to work on yourself, loving yourself first. This person's really going to see it. I feel like you really healed overall. Um, this person's going to see that you love yourself, you know your self-worth, you have self-awareness, you're not letting anyone control you, tell you what to do, you got the bag, um, very independent energy is what I'm getting as well. So this person's going to be attracted to that, they're like, damn, Pisces got the bag, she looks good, um, he smells good, he has no drama, he's just ready to be loved or ready to be with me, whatever the case is, you and this person are going to hit it off. So that's all I have for you, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do want to book a reading or any services, don't forget to check out the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.